Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. So as some of my eagle-eyed viewers might notice, um, you've probably got a slightly different picture to normal. Um, I've got a new camera which I'm testing out, so apologies if anything goes wrong. Um, I'm still obviously trying to get used to all the features on this camera. I have now got an external mic, so hopefully the sound quality might be a bit better than before. But, you know, give me your feedback. Um, I'd be interested, as always, to um, get your insights and feedback on how I could uh, improve things as much as possible. I know that I could do with some better lighting in here and that's something I'll um, be looking at as well but just so that I'm not just talking about new camera equipment because that's pretty boring and that's not why you're subscribed to this channel I just thought I'd talk very very briefly and I'll probably talk more about this topic in future videos and that's one of my favorite things to say um, about walking sticks. So as many of you know I obviously um, buy and sell deal in antique swords and it's been one of my passions for the last uh, well, since I was a teenager really, since I was about 16, 17 I started collecting. I actually started collecting bayonets first and then moved into swords. Um, but during my time hunting for antique swords, I do come across walking sticks. And something that I have obviously become aware of is that walking sticks were regarded as a fairly useful self-defense implement in the same period as sabers were used on the battlefield. So we're talking 18th and 19th century and in fact, you know, small swords as well. So in the 18th and 19th centuries, a lot of people, or a lot of um, gentlemen at least, would carry around a stick, a walking stick of various sorts. It was completely socially normal um, and therefore it was a useful thing to make a little bit more combative, shall we say, a little bit more useful as a self-defense implement. I have talked in the past about sword sticks, and I'm not going to show you a sword stick again, although I do have one. That was That's quite a famous way of turning a what would normally be a normal walking stick into something a bit more bellicose. But another example is quite simply a sturdy, spiky piece of wood. And this is a blackthorn, I believe, stick. And I found this in an antique shop. I, I have no way of knowing how old it is, but it seems to be pretty old because it's, it's just got the look of age to it. Uh, it has a fairly spiky metal end on the end, and you'll notice that Blackthorn naturally has these spiky bits all the way up. It's not a particularly heavy example. Some of them are um, quite, quite heavy, and some of them are sort of lead shod or weighted at the end, but I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. But nevertheless, you can see it's not just a standard, bog standard walking stick. It is spiky and a little bit more offensive. And indeed, you know, different treatises and manuals of the period do talk about using these for self-defense. Sometimes the pointy end is used, um, somewhat akin to a small sword, in fact, or a foil. Sometimes the club-like end is used for striking. Sometimes the bottom end is used for striking in close. And of course, you can defend against all sorts of things, knife attacks, um, are people with swords, this kind of stuff, either with the, the back end or indeed with the hitty end, a bit like an Irish shillelagh. Um, but another stick I want to just briefly show you is what appears to be a normal Malacca cane. Malacca is a type of reed, I believe, um, and they're a little bit flexible as you can see there and um, I picked this up and I thought that you know looks like a normal Malacca cane nothing particularly to write home about nothing strange about it and as soon as I picked it up I noticed that its point of balance was very near to what I would describe as the hitty end um, and on closer inspection I noticed that this isn't in fact silver or brass or whatever you would normally get on the end of a stick it is steel. And I thought, that's strange, a malacca cane uh, with a steel end, and then I picked it up and I realised that it's obviously got a steel rod going down inside the end of here. That wasn't made simply for the purpose of walking. Um, if someone puts a steel end instead of a silver or a brass end um, on, on a walking stick and has a steel rod slid down inside of it, that's to make it more hitty. Um, so I bought it, because it was, it was fairly cheap, and um, Swinging this thing, if it, in fact, if you hold it at the at the lighter pointy end, it's actually quite mace-like. It's got quite a lot of weight in the end. And to be honest, fighting in close, if I was using this as self-defense, I'd probably hold it about that far down, um, you know, sort of uh, towards the top end of one foot from the point. Um, and actually now it's quite a quick striking thing. Um, and you've got a back end as well that you can hook and block with. Um, so that becomes quite a useful implement. I'll just briefly mention, just to finish off, that um, we do of course see the use of the cane 
in uh, Le Can, as it's called, which is a, a, a traditional French martial art of using the cane. And it's still a modern competitive sport that has a continuous lineage going back to the 19th century. However, they're using very light canes and they, I don't have the space to demonstrate in here, but they whirl the things around as if you're using a, a much lighter type of cane, a lighter type of stick than at the other end of the spectrum, something like a shillelagh, which is more like a club. So there is a spectrum amongst walking sticks. They're not all used the same way. There's many different ways of using them and there are many different types of walking cane and stick that naturally want to be used in different ways. Very clearly, if you have a light stick, you have to move it a lot to get enough uh, kind of speed into it to give it momentum. Whereas if you've got a heavier stick, clearly it's not gonna move as fast, but it hits with greater mass and therefore has effect in that way. It's more like a, more like a club or a mace. So there we go, guys. Um, Hopefully the sound is okay, hopefully the visuals is okay. You can see more of me now and more of my study. Um, and um, sticks, walking sticks, I'm sure I'll talk more about this in the future. I'm by no means an expert on the use of walking sticks. However, I know some people who are, so I might get them on to interview them and talk a bit more about this topic. Cheers, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, follow us on Facebook. You can buy t-shirts through Spreadshirt, support us on Patreon, or follow us on Pinterest. Thank you.